May 10th, 1990, my friend Dan and myself saw our very first KISS concert ever, the Hot in the Shade Tour, 29 years ago this week, and to commemorate the anniversary of that day, I busted out this, my brand new Hot in the Shade Tour shirt from the KISS shop on Amazon. Now I posted an Instagram post regarding that t-shirt and celebrating the 29 years. Very special day that my friend Dan and I saw our very first KISS show. That was the beginning of it all. 29 years of music, fun, and friendship. Had to celebrate it on that post on Instagram. Somebody commented and asked where I got that shirt. Of course, it was the KISS shop on Amazon, but it started me thinking, what are my favorite KISS shirts. Not official. What are my favorite bootleg KISS shirts? And that is what we are going to talk about today. Welcome my fellow KISS fans. Welcome to It's All For You Demons celebrating the fun of being a KISS fan. And today we're celebrating the fun of the bootleg KISS shirt. Now I do not have a lot of bootleg KISS shirts, but I do have a handful of KISS shirts that are not for sale anywhere. Mostly the ones I made, including this one, which was the design from the early 70s blacklight poster. Made that into a little shirt for myself. The next shirt being another design I made myself at home. Kiss Arts and Crafts Day. This taken from the 1979 Return of Kiss tour poster or promotional flyer. Cut that out, made it into a shirt. This is one of my favorites. This was actually me being very crafty. I like to call this the It's All For You Demon logo. I used to use this as my profile picture on Instagram and YouTube, but I no longer do. I have this design in this blue t-shirt and a black sweatshirt which I believe I am wearing as we speak. I was a huge skating fan in the 80s, so this is the Bones Brigade logo, basically with Gene Simmons' cartoon comic book head over the skull's head. But I love the fact that a Gene skeleton is ripping out of this t-shirt. I tried to get this put on a baseball hat, and they denied me for copyright reasons. Hence, these don't exist anywhere. Only in my closet. And I do have a hoodie design I love. Um, I took a Salem's Lot picture and put in Gene's head from the 74 debut record and added a Casablanca Records logo. I thought that was pretty fun and kind of very cool and symbolic of that 1974 era. And I have made many, many KISS t-shirts, but this is the last of the t-shirts I have that are surviving. This is, of course, the cartoon picture from the Donruss Wax Packs. Thought it looked pretty cool on a shirt. And one reason I like to design shirts myself and just make them for my own use is a lot of t-shirts, the design is so big on the shirt, I like small designs right there on the middle chest. You just can't really find that anymore. So I think the best way is to head to old Hobby Lobby, act like an old lady, and have an arts and crafts day. And now on to the actual bootleg bootleg shirts. This is, isn't really a bootleg shirt. I guess it could be because I doubt they had the band's permission to use the logo and or the design, but this is a shirt from the Florida Convention 92 that I ended up getting from Peter Arquette. I did not attend this convention, but man, I loved this shirt because I am such a huge unmasked fan and we have a guest visitor on the couch. I am such a huge unmasked fan. I loved that picture above that logo. This is one of my favorite bootleg shirts, if you will. I love it. This is a pretty freaking awesome shirt. My friend Todd, who was in our New York video, he did a lot of trading pre-internet via Goldmine Magazine. He collects 
Metallica stuff. He collects all rock and roll stuff, but he is a huge Metallica collector and he has some very cool, awesome Metallica leather tour jackets. And throughout his trading and contacts, he ended up with a Hot in the Shade crew member shirt, Team Sphinx. And to me, that is freaking awesome because you do not see these anywhere. And Todd being the generous, loving friend he is, he knows my soft spot for Hot in the Shade and added this to my collection. Thank you, Todd. What an awesome piece. I love how the lines around the Hot in the Shade logo actually make a sphinx. And my final bootleg shirt, my favorite of the bunch. Besides that crew member shirt, which I cannot wear because it's like a small, but I can still wear this shirt. This was during the era, kind of that early 2000s era when all of those t-shirt companies started popping up online, like Fright Rags, Rotten Cotton, Hot Topic was real big at the time selling t-shirts. There was this website company called Deadly that sold like pop culture shirts. One of the shirts they had had Damone on it from Fast Times at Ridgemont High and it said something about the ticket guy or the Van Halen ticket guy. But they had this awesome A shirt with that Deadly logo written in like a Kiss logo. But man, when I saw this shirt, I had to order it. And I remember after I received it, it wasn't very long after, I went back to order another Deadly shirt and the website was gone. Obviously, probably copyright trouble. I doubt you can legally sell a shirt like this and get away with it, which sucks because a lot of those early t-shirt companies had to do that to make shirts for fans. I mean, fans want this kind of stuff. Even Kiss is guilty of this. You go to Kiss Online and a lot of the shirts are boring, but shirts like these, man, are so much fun. And I am so glad I was able to pick up this Deadly shirt. And this is my favorite bootleg shirt ever. I love this shirt. I've worn it so much. The black doesn't even look black anymore. It kind of looks ratty and faded, but I still wear it with pride. The fun of the rock and roll bootleg shirts. There you have a little small wax today regarding bootleg rock and roll t-shirts. Kiss bootleg shirts to boot. If you are new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this content, like share, comment below, leave your comments. What are your favorite non-licensed KISS t-shirts? Let's celebrate the fun of being a KISS fan down in those comments. Thank you for hanging with me. Take care, be safe, be good to your animals. My people are on the prowl for something. Bootleg? Are, are you the bootleg police? Good cop? Bad cop. Gene Simmons has sent them here to get these bootleg t-shirts. Foiled again. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.